Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this oversized turtleneck sweater you will need a bulky yarn. This was a weight 5. I used I think 7 balls of this yarn for a size small and you will need a 9mm crochet hook. So first we're going to begin on the back panel. So make a chain of 41 for a size small, 45 for medium, 49 for large, 53 for extra large, 57 for 2XL, 61 for 3XL, 65 for 4XL and 69 for the 5XL. So as you will notice, my crochet hook has seen better days. My dog decided to have a good chew for himself. So yeah, that's all I had. So mm, yeah. So next you're going to place a double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And then you're going to continue with placing a double crochet into every chain to the very end. So at the end of that row, you're going to chain two and then you're going to turn your work. And now you're going to make a front post double crochet. So yarn over and then wrap your hook around the post just like so. That is your front post double crochet. And then into your next stitch, do a back post double crochet. And you're going to alternate between a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet until you reach the very end of this row. So when you reach the end of this row, you're going to place a double crochet into the top of that chain two. So you're going to repeat that row one more time. So chain two, turn your work and then alternate between a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet. So now you should have something that looks like this. So for your next row, we're going to chain two. This will always count as your first stitch. And now we're going to make what's called a herringbone half double crochet. So into that next space, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Now you're going to pull through that middle loop. Then yarn over, and pull through two. So now we're going to make it again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Then you're going to pull your loop, your hook through that middle loop. Then yarn over and pull through two. So you're going to repeat that to the very end of this row. So make sure you place your last stitch into the top of your chain two. And then you're going to repeat that row for a total of 26 rows. Then fasten off, repeat the whole thing for the front panel. But with the front panel, you're only going to do 24 rows. So here I am. I just finished my 24 rows. I'm starting my 25th row for the front panel. So chain two. 
and then make a further 10 stitches for a size small, 12 for the medium, 14 for large, 16 for extra large, 18 for 2XL, 20 for 3XL, 22 for 4XL and 24 for 5XL. So this part is going to be your shoulder area. So you leave all the other stitches unworked and you just work on these stitches. So next, for the next row, you're going to chain two. Then you're going to turn your work. And then you're going to work back along those stitches again. So into the next space do your herringbone half double crochet and continue on to the very end so once you have that row finished you're going to cut your yarn leave a long tail and then fasten off and then you're going to flip your work around the other side and whatever number of stitches you had for that shoulder area you're going to count that number in from the outer edge attach your yarn there chain two do your stitches all the way across chain two again work across again and then cut your yarn and you should have something that looks like this so you're going to leave those two panels to one side and now we're going to work on the sleeves so you're going to chain 19 then you're going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook and then you're going to continue placing a double crochet into each chain to the very end So for your next row, chain two, then turn your work and then you're going to, just like the back and the front panels, you're going to alternate between a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet. So keep going to, like that to the, to the very end of this row. So at the end of that row, chain two and then turn your work. Now you're going to start increasing. So into that same, that very first space, do your half, do your herringbone half double crochet. So essentially you have two stitches into that one space and then make one ha herringbone half double crochet all the way across until you reach the very last stitch. So here we are at the very end. This is your chain two from the previous row. That's your last stitch. So into that stitch, you're going to place two herringbone half double crochets. So your next row, there's going to be no increases. So chain two and just work normal all the way across. And then you're going to alternate between an increase row and a non-increase row. So keep working in that pattern until you have 32 stitches for a small, 34 for medium, 36 for large, 38 for extra large, 42 for 2XL, 46 for 3XL, 48 for 4XL and 48 for the 5XL. Thank you. 
So once you've reached your desired number of stitches for your size, you're going to chain two and you're not going to increase from now on. So place one herringbone half double crochet into every stitch all the way across for a further 10 rows. If you need your sleeve longer, just add more rows here. So you should have something that looks like this. So cut your yarn, leave a long tail and place to one side. Then grab your back panel, lay that flat. Then grab your front panel, lay that on top of your back panel. And now you're going to sew right along here. And then the same on the other side. Now you're going to lay your sweater out flat like so. Grab one of your sleeves and you're going to fold that sleeve lengthwise because you need to find your center stitch. So wherever the fold is on your sleeve, just pick that stitch and you're going to line that stitch up with your, your shoulder seam and then grab a stitch marker and just attach it to your sweater like so. And then you're going to sew your sleeve to your sweater all along there. You should have something that looks like this. Fold your sweater over and then sew all the way down your sleeve and down the outer edge of your sweater. So now we're going to work on the collar part of your sweater. So attach your yarn to the edge of your neckline. It doesn't really matter where, just attach it towards the edge. Then insert your hook and then you're going to chain three. This will count as your first double crochet. So now you're going to place a double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to continue placing a double crochet into every stitch all the way around the entire neckline. So when you've gone all the way around your neckline, you're going to make a slip stitch into the top of that chain three. For the next round, chain three. And now you're going to alternate between a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet all the way around that neckline and then slip stitch into the top of your chain three. So you're going to repeat this round over and over again. I did 16 rounds, but I wanted a really supersized collar. It's entirely up to you. So once you have that done, cut your yarn, fasten off, and that's your sweater completed. So if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care.